could not make it today, I guess. Um, didn't get a response back. We talked about it yesterday, but it's okay. You know, like, I understand people got a lot of shit going on. I want to say what's up to everybody in my crew out there, man. Make sure that you give me some stars. That way we can keep these shows going. And, of course, if you want to join me because I don't have a guest tonight, it's going to be a short show. So, uh, if you want to be my guest tonight, hit that. And got to give my props out to my peoples because everybody's out there. Welcome to Stripper Real Live with yourself, Hustle Guy Kane, because I'm here talking. I don't know who's here yet. I got two people watching right at the moment, which means I got about 23 people watching, but we're not friends. So it's kind of weird. But uh, hey, Brought to you by the Downtown Tower Suites, the Executive Office Suite in the Tower on 6th and Tyler. They're happily providing me with this. Also, Take the Bite Podcast Studio, which we are in, and it is kind of spiky. Sorry, that's what I Also, by Left Woods, whenever the hell it opens back up, it is one of our sponsors. Of course, the Mess and Wheel. Massage and Wellness Center located here in the downtown at the Tower. Excuse me. She's right around the corner. Her name's Susan. You can reach her at 806-676-7075. Or just come up here to the Tower. You know, set up an appointment. That's what you got to do. And we are also sponsored by the greatest place on Earth. And I don't mean Disney. I'm talking about the Arcade Bar. It's on the corner over here on 7th and Hope. Retro Games, full best draft beer in town. Yes, right. So it's got the best draft bar. Talk about a few things, and I'm not going, you know, I don't know. People got plans today, whatever, whatever. Man, you can get Bob City Radio, which is playing in the background right, right to home now. Best radio station in Bomb City, if you ask me. Sorry. But. You know, I got a lot of friends that have jobs. You know, I got Elman, I got DJ Roro, I got, you know, a lot of people. But really, honestly, we can't play the music that we really like to hear on those stations. So you can hear it here on Bomb City. You can get it on the Zito app. It's also available on Apple Store and Google Play. Push! We know you love Super Hill a lot. We know you love the Gentleman's Club. You do that tea. Down, move on. <laughs> All right. DM the Bomb City Radio 
page on FBA. Pre-order, twenty-five dollars, and you can send it kindly to the Gentlemen's Club. Cash app. You want one? Twenty-five bucks. Cash app it to the Gentlemen's Club. Three sixty-five. Just being real. You like the show? We're gonna keep it going. You like the shows? We're gonna keep them going. So don't forget, we got, uh, of course, Triple A Live, the VIP after hours with me every Friday at nine o'clock, and of course, Gentlemen's Club with Uncle Couture and Cat Eyes. I gotta change that now. With Cat Eyes and Uncle Couture every Thursday nine o'clock, you get three hours of nothing but fun and good conversation and maybe some good advice, a debate or two. That's always great. Don't forget, we're live right now on YouTube, Facebook. I'm on the planet. I didn't do it on Twitter today. I don't know why I didn't. I thought about adding it, but I don't think I could add it. So, see, then people want to add it. Nope, cannot reschedule. I am sorry, sir. Uh, that's really what I'm going to get to first and foremost. Professional curse. If you are on a show, or somebody asks you to be on their show, be professional and let them know ahead of time because they're giving you a deadline to let that person know so that they don't have to do this. I ended up having to do the show by myself because the person that I had advertised, because now that makes me sound like I'm a bad you know, promoter. I'm not doing what I need. But I know I need to do it because I have sponsors that are sponsoring my shows. So I have to be here on time and I have to do it the right way. But it leads me to my subject today, which is, which is stuff bad. <laughs> Damn it, interns. Can't have an intern because they don't know how to spell. Or <laughs> they do know how to spell. I think they were in a hurry because they had shit to do. And I, I told them they did not thank them because hell, I. A lot of this shit I can't do by myself. Support your locals, man. Look, if you're just too busy worried about being the cool kid in school, remember, you got out of high school 20 years ago. You got out of college 10 years ago. And hopefully you are a success at whatever it is you are doing in life. But there are people that decided they didn't want the rat race. They didn't want to be part of everything else. They decided they want to start their own business because they want to be their own boss. So I would advise support your locals, man. I support almost everybody that does something in this town. Just because, not because I have to, not because uh, I expect something back. I do it because, man, you're stepping up as a, a person, you know, you're stepping up as a person and start your own business and want to see it flourish. You don't start a business just because you got bored one Sunday and decided, hey, I'm not going to work anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your wife and kids did not expect you to do that. So I respect a lot of people that are just doing things for themselves, you know, just starting their own business like this. You know, this is, this is local. I am supporting myself half-assed. You know, it's, it's getting there. I, have, I can get up there and I can have a show every week and I can talk about my issues or however people want to perceive it. But really, it's a new business. It's a part of business. There are different, there are different podcasts out there. And, you know, I'm just one of them. If you like my podcast, you should support my podcast. Support your local restaurants. Support your local beauty salons. Well, you know, like, there's a lot of people out there that are doing it just by themselves. So support those people. They're really, really doing it. See, and then it goes back to that whole thing called professional courtesy. If I go and get my hair cut at Phil Hills, which I don't have there, but <laughs> if I go there, I'm going to be professional enough to support his business. And I'm going to tell other people about his business. Just like this. When I go on the show, regardless if they're sponsoring me, because most people think when you're a sponsor, you have to put money. 
No, it's really me giving you free advertisement for your business. You help me by um, supplying me with certain things, like this, the tower. They supply me with a suite. The podcast studio gave me a studio to work out of, and so on and so forth. You know, I help out people by pushing people towards their business. And I notice it's not no corporate thing. It's not like, oh, sponsored by, you know, Corona or Pepsi or anything like that, or even Dr. Dre that's coming in the background. No, it's supported by, because it's for people like you, people that want to be entertained and get tired of hearing the same old, same old, same old. I get tired of hearing the same old, same old, same old. And even worse, I hate hearing it because it's censored. You know, like I'd rather hear a person's real point of view than hear a part of a person's point of view. And if you just want to be the cool kid because it's the popular thing, oh, they got it in Dallas, they got it in Fort Worth, they got, there's only one struck Ray a lot. There's only one lit. There's only one bomb city, Texas. There's no bomb cities anywhere else. So, you know, I feel like I live in this town and I'm not even from Texas. And I support Emerald more than Emerald supports itself. That's kind of sad. And really, honestly, you know, like if more people sponsored and helped others in the town, you know, who knows where we could be. We could actually make something work and something be positive and do all that. Um, don't forget we got April 7th. It is our next Freak Fest. It's called Leather and Lace. Make sure you get with Uncle Couture tomorrow. We're going to talk about it on the show. And also we're going to have the 420 Gentlemen's Club blowout. That's right. I, I'm going to call the blowout instead of blowing blow. But we do accept. And we get applause for that. Yes. So don't forget, guys, like I said, we got the 420 turn up. We're going to call the blowout. So y'all need to come on out. We will let you know of the secret events when it occurs. Um, like I said, man, it's just professional courtesy. Just support your local people, man. People, you know, they care about you. They want you to have the best. They want you to see their service. I mean, even if the service sucks, try it out. I mean, I haven't even, there's a lot of places I haven't even ate yet. They are new in town, but I'm going to try it out. I wasn't impressed with the fajitos. I want my place back. Roll them ups needs to go. Popeyes on Paramount needs to go. Let's talk about Popeyes on Paramount, by the way. Popeyes on Paramount, this is, you know, like, I'm not disrespecting Popeyes or anything like that. It's just, dude, some of y'all's Popeyes, y'all got some rude ass managers, and then you got even ruder people that are, like, in front of the customers. Like, these people are the people that are taking your order and everything. And, dude, some of them ain't got no home training, and it's bad. So, in my sense of thinking, if I'm going to come and support your establishment and you sell chicken, I feel like you should have chicken. <laughs> I feel like there should have been a truck or somebody there to get chicken. And it's sad you have to pick and choose which place is the best place to actually go to. And that's worse. If I have to go all the way to Coulter to get some chicken, because I've already been to the one on Paramount, and they didn't have any chicken, or nobody was answering the menu board, or um, I have to go all the way to the one on Bell, where I can find a manager that's going to be rude to me, and then didn't fully explain, oh, yeah. By the way, the thing that you're seeing on our menu board inside the restaurant and outside the restaurant is online only. You can try to put a little sign. You can put a little sticky note on it. It's only online. So, like, guys, get that shit together, man. Like, don't get mad at people because 
you have to work today. Do not do that. That shit is so, that pisses people off, man. All thing I'm trying to do is get a soda, <laughs> some cigarettes, maybe some wraps, and you got an attitude because, oh, well, you wasn't supposed to work today, so you're going to take it out on everybody else by not answering the line or whatever, whatever. Then why not quit? Why even stay there if you ain't going to do your job? It's not my fault you have this job. <laughs> Just do your job, man. So it's like that is professional courtesy. Man, not even just on levels of shit. Just be professional, bro. Like quit quit taking out shit on your customers because you having a bad day. Or I understand COVID got everybody fucked up. Like COVID has fucked up the world pretty much. There are people that had to close down because of COVID. And probably really had a great restaurant or a great business, but they can't afford to give you that great service anymore. So we're just accepting what we can accept. No, that's not acceptable. Not in my eyes. Be as professional as you would expect. You know, like, sorry. You don't go to Kentucky Fried Chicken for fries. You don't go to the barbershop just to get shoes polished. You might, because that's the last place that does real shoe polish, except for here. Tower, we got great shoe polish guy right downstairs. Um, that's what I mean, bro. Like, we don't hold anybody accountable anymore for their shit. And then we say, oh, it's okay because you're working a shitty job or you're getting shitty pay. So it do, finds that you can be a shitty person to the people that are paying your bills? You know, no, it's not cool. Not cool. I, you know, do, you know, customer service is everything. Your business, being able to run it is everything. Be professional about the things that you do. You know, like I do, you know, I do music, I do other things. So I have to be professional at all times. You know, if I can't professionally make something, it's because I professionally can't get there. Or I am I have something overbooked or I'm overbooked, which happens. It is what it is, and that's probably what happened with uh, Logan tonight. So, but, you know, like, I can't reschedule in the week because I already got things going throughout the week. Maybe next week, and even then, next week is already covered, too. I had an opening. I took it. That's what happens. So, you know. Just be professional. Just be professional. Don't wait all day. Don't wait until the last minute. Quit doing nigga shit. <laughs> like, seriously, black folks, quit acting black all the damn time. Actually, be on time for once. Be professional. It's not about you being black. It's not about you being white. It's not about being nothing. Be professional. People do not fuck with people that cannot be professional and be consistently professional. Be consistently professional. Period. Like, dude, I get, you know, you get tired of calling people. Like, say, man, my order was messed up. Or, even worse, the biggest thing in the world, this is what happened. My phone, let's go pay my phone bill. Okay? My phone didn't get turned on because the millennial sitting there in front of me did not perceive what he had to perceive to do the job. It's not hard. You type in some numbers, $112, Mr. Wood. Well, here you go. Here's $150. Give me back $3 change. I go about my business. But if I give you my money and a tip, I better have my shit the way it's supposed to be. It's just, you know, like I said, it's professional courtesy. Quit making yourself, quit making it harder than it has to be. You know, I realized I lost a lot of weight on my face, like right here. All this is wrong. <laughs> no, just saw it. But you got to be able to professionally handle the situation. Like right now. I could have said, fuck this, I'm going home <laughs> because nobody else is here. I'm not going to have as many people watching because 
Nobody wants to see me sit over here and rant and rave about nothing. That is what it is. That is why it's called a talk show. Because I put people on here to talk. I know it's a crazy concept. But it does. It kind of irks your soul when you take time out for people and they don't give you the same courtesy in return, which is okay. But I'm I'm not I'm not like that. My mom taught me better. You let somebody know if you ain't gonna be there ahead of time, so that they don't they're not sitting over there looking stupid, or they're not sitting over here preparing for something that's not gonna happen. Literally down to the wire, you know. So it is what it is, and I'm gonna quit talking about it. Don't forget, man. Ah! We got Freak Fest coming up. But can you love? Can love be a paycheck? This is what I love to do. I love to educate people. I love to entertain people. So, I mean, yes, love can be a paycheck. That's what I'm trying to show other people. Like, if you're good at making movies, I can show you how to make movies. If you're good at making podcasts or you want to learn how to make a podcast, I can show, definitely show you how to make podcasts. I can show you how to do a lot of things and make it pay for you. Who knows? You might be more, you might, might have more uh, following than I do. I have a pretty good following. People watch it. Most of the time, you know, it is what it is. I don't, you know, you got other shit to do, of course. I'm not looking as young and spry as I usually am. I'm usually talking about something that is irritating me during the day or whatever. But really, I'm giving you life lesson, you know, like real shit. How to live your life better without letting people fuck it up. Because people will fuck up your day every time. Never, never fails. Went to Taco Bell today. Ordered two grilled burritos, grilled chicken burritos. You know what I got? Two bean and cheese burritos and two some other burrito I didn't even like. But I got, I couldn't bitch about it because I got four for the price of two. It's a win-win. But it irritated me. So do stuff that makes you love what you do. Make a paycheck out of what you love doing. If you know how to sew, sew. Make some clothes. Make a clothing line. Cat Eyes is looking for some clothing lines right now. She's going to probably use one of mine, which will be great. And I can show her how to do it, too. So, you know, do what you love. Be professional about it. Be consistently professional about it. So I'm only going to do a 30-minute show because, hey, I'm not going to waste my time. I know what I can do. I know what I, I need to be doing. I can be doing so much. I can go have a drink. I know where I can go have a drink at, too. I'm going to go have a drink at... Lit. The arcade bar on the corner of 7th and Low. Retro games, cool, and the best draft bar in town. That's Lit. The arcade bar. Okay. I just want to say that. I, just, I don't know. I always want to do it like that. Hey, guys, you can always join the group. Make sure you keep us on. You know, we got Strip Radio Live. We got the Gentleman's Club, which will be tomorrow night with the drink of the week. Ain't no telling what Uncle Couture gonna, gonna have, but support us, send us money, fuck these stars, even though I love Facebook. Thank y'all for supporting my black ass. But hey man, the stars is only like a penny, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these pennies. I ain't getting no pennies, pennies. Uh the 420 Gentlemen's Club Blow and Go Party, the blowout is going to happen, hopefully on 420. Which will be on Thursday night, so we're gonna we're gonna do it live. We just we just gotta find a spot, and uh, I don't know yet. We'll try to figure it out. We'll figure it out by. I know we'll figure it out by then, so it ain't no biggie. Uh, the leather and lace is April seventh. It's coming up two weeks from Friday. On Good Friday, so hopefully everybody's wearing something good and having fun. We'll give you the secret password if you're part of the eight hundred six group. You already know what the rules are. If you join the 806 group, 
we'll tell you the rules and hey man, we'll, you'll be able to come and join us for freak fest on good friday good friday freak fest good friday freak fest it sounds sounds so yeah i don't know but hey man um last thoughts because i'm all like i said i'm only doing 30 minutes um i probably won't put this on spotify just because it's too short you know like all the shows that's on there is at least 30 minutes no at least 60 minutes sorry i can't say my sasses my s's my passes you know stuff like that um so they're usually about an hour so i really can't produce anything under an hour so since this is only gonna be 30 minutes i'm not gonna put it on it's not gonna count as an episode it'll count as an episode for us just because i did it for y'all you know i did it for the professionalism like i said i got sponsors so i have to do a show even if i don't have a guest i still have to do a show because i have to produce something and it may not be for today but i you know i still got the shows tomorrow and and friday so i'm very i'm still going to have to i still have to do my wednesday show for tomorrow here so um my last thoughts man be good to everybody just be good to your family Hopefully your family is doing good. You ain't got a whole bunch of deaths in your family going on. Hopefully you can move all your limbs. I'm getting there <laughs> slowly but surely. I'm doing my best. I mean, I even got me a job now. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you. I really appreciate you very much. That's one of the last thoughts. I really appreciate Cassandra Morris, man. Thank you very much, dog, because I was shit. It's depressing <laughs> when you feel like you can't do nothing. It's depressing. Um, I want to thank my kiddos because uh, their mom's birthday is coming up March 17th. And the Toya was very important to me. And she was very close to me. So it's like, it's got me kind of my thoughts about it. Uh, my daughter's getting married. My oldest daughter's getting married. She's kind of pissed off at me because I'm making her be an adult. So <laughs> that's kind of. You know, but that comes with the territory. I think I, I wouldn't be a good person if my mom hadn't made me into a good person when I was a kid and when I was getting up with and not, not really being appreciative of other people's time. So, you know, but seriously, shout out to my, my oldest three, Xavier, uh, Jaden, and Janela. You know, their mother's birthday is coming up. She passed three years ago. So, Love you, Toya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all my March people out there, all my Aries, my, well, getting the Aries into these Pisces <laughs> and into the Taurus era, you know. Um, like I said, we got the party coming up. We got the Freak Fest coming up. We got our thing next, you know, everything. We got a lot going on. So thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for helping us. Thank you, because otherwise I wouldn't be here. This wouldn't be here. None of this would be here, because y'all believe in me and you watch. You know, <laughs> I'm glad y'all do watch. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a great show today, but it just didn't happen that way. And but I'm still gonna do what I said I was gonna do. So, um, shout out. Got a shout out Uncle Couture, Jordan Byers. Suck, sir. Shout out Shemla. Yeah, Yvonne. My cat eyes. I love you, boo. Uh, Marcel Lynn. Cassie Morris. Thank you, ma'am. My mama. Gussie Lee. Thank you. I love you, mom. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully, very soon. Got to say what's up to Buttons. She knows who she is. Um, all my crews. I'm talking about Dollhouse, Bomb City Cabaret, and of course, the Playhouse. I love all y'all, man. I miss y'all. I hope y'all doing good. Uh, Mikey, miss you. <laughs> Kayla, miss you. Miss you, Columbia. I miss you, Miss Ruby. Of course, Mama D. Tim, which I'm probably going to get him on the show soon because he, he even wanted to say his little two, two cents about, you know, being stripper management. Uh, Shout out to Gary, because that's my partner, you know, 
I make that smile, buddy. He's still my partner. My big brother Swiss. My big brother Brayden. Even though they love niggas, but they big brothers to me. No, it's funny. My big brother Tiger and everybody else. Uh, IDC Click. What's good, Papa Smurf? School C. Day. Chill. D Chill. I remember D Chill. We used to D Chill. Damn. What's good, brother? Um, just everybody out there doing their thing. Shout out to Bomb City. Y'all, y'all make us a break us today. You know, so I want to show that I'm appreci- I appreciate y'all. And I love doing this shit. So don't forget tomorrow night. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for the Gentleman's Club. But that's your radio for the night. Sorry, it can't be longer. Y'all have a good night. Peace.